All right, guys, getting ready to start this mural for my daughter as a Christmas gift. Again, we're doing My Little Pony. Uh, we talked about how we pre-mix a lot of our soft colors. That way, when we go in through it, throughout the piece, we can beef the color up. We want to start soft, and then we work the color up. That way, our end result is this real nice, soft, cloudy, matte finish instead of a plasticky look. We want to, I don't want that plasticky look in this, uh, this type of work we're doing. I want a, look, a nice, gradual, soft look. How we do that is we pre-mix our colors with opaques. Uh, for instance, if I'm going to do, when I go ahead and do this blue pony, I'm going to start off with my uh, powdered blue, which is about that, opaqued out by adding white in it. Then I'm come in in this darker shadow blue, I'm going to add a bunch of blue in here, navy blue, and I'm going to beef up the, the blue. That's only when I'm done using this light blue, that way I don't have to go back and mix the blue all over again. I'll get all this blue done, and all, the whole piece. Maximize the blue, then come in and make the blue darker by adding some blue to it. Here's my son Davian here. Davian, what's Daddy painting on the wall? My pony. My little pony. Say hello to all the YouTubers out there. Say hi, guys. Davian, say hi. All right, he's not being good right now. That's Davian. That's my son. He's going to get a cool paint job too uh, here soon. Um, so that's the whole idea. And I pre-mixed all these soft colors. For instance, the soft pink right here. In here, and then if I need to beef it up with this darker pink, I'll add pink and that red and that once I'm done with all the pink throughout the mural. Don't want, I want to maximize and extend each color. So, some other ideas when starting this piece I want in terms of maximizing and, and getting some effects and, and uh, some characteristics uh, in this piece is, for instance, the dressing in her hair. I'm going to come in and really brighten that dressing up by coming in and preserving the white in those highlights. And it's going to really make a fiery effect. Um, and then these kind of, uh, this is a pen I did for my daughter about eight years ago. Well, no, eight, maybe five years ago. She's six now. Uh, I want to concentrate on these transition blends here where you got pink transitioning to the orange, into the green, of course yellow in the middle. So this we're going to work on, this kind of glowing uh, effect throughout the whole piece and really focusing on bright colors and again taking our time with a pre-mixed palette uh, using opaques instead of uh, transparency but using the transparency for the shading um, and that's how we're going to do that so we're using my t-shirt setup right here this is what I use mainly for t-shirts using all Spectratex using Vega 2000s and then I also brought the Crescendo for some of these large spray patterns I'll be doing. The Crescendo large tip does a great job of blowing that paint out, kind of like a mini detail gun. So we're going to use, use the Crescendo. And then I got a uh, Anthem that's also a heavy sprayer and another Crescendo. So this is what the setup looks like. Got the pre-mix opaques and the transparency. And we're going we're gonna to tackle it. So uh, we're going to show you the whole process and uh, let you guys be involved in it. Stay tuned, guys.